Okay, uh, 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 well, uh, let's learn then how do we draw an isonometric uh, cycles. We've got a square, which is one, two, three, four. This is the square. So this is the center one, center two, center three, center four. Then from there, the method, this, remember we've got uh, different types of method. So we have to go for, for the one which is what? Which is a... Uh, 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 easier and fast. So the easier one is the great 10 method, which is, is four center method. So it says join the two longest opposite corner, corner of your square. Remember, we are dealing with the front part of it, isn't it? So it says join the two what opposite longest corner. So this one, con uh, this corner and this one, they are not opposite to each other. This one to this one, they are not opposite to each other. They, but they are what? They are in the same line. But this one and this one, they are opposite to each other. And this one and that one, they are what? They are opposite to each other. But then, le, uh, double check which one is uh, they are far away from each other. Which is, is this one and this one. This one and this one, they are not far away from each other as compared to what? To this one and this one. So, the two opposite longest corner is the one that we have to join. And remember, these lines that we are, we, are, we are drawing, they must be what? They must be very faint. And whenever you are joining these two longest opposite corners of yours, this line of yours, it has to pass exactly where the centers they are. Uh, uh, they are, they, they are uh, 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 bisecting each other or they are crossing each other it has to pass exactly there because if it's passing somewhere there uh, your arc is not it's not going to be accurate so we've joined the two right opposite uh, longest corner so now we have to join what a corner to center and a center to corner Len, not a center to center not a corner to corner but we're joining a corner to center and center to corner. Let's do it. Faint, you are drawing this faint. There we go. And then it was corner to center. Then it has to be what? Center to corner. Faint. And then now, when we were joining a corner to center, this line cutted the what? The longest corner line, isn't it? Where they are cutting each other is your point where you have to place your compass. Where they are cutting each other is your point where you have to place your compass. But then double check that we are not drawing a complete, a complete what? A hole. But we are drawing the half of it, which means the, the one which is going to be effective is this one. So now, you'll be placing your compass where they are cutting each other, like this. Then, further extend it toward to your center. There you go. And before you even draw, you have to double check, is it corresponding? Is it corresponding? You see, it does correspond. So, which means now, I can start to draw dark, like this. I stop there. Then now uh, I have to get uh, this other arc. So now I have to put my compass here to this corner and further extend it to that one, to that center, like this. Then before I draw, I have to, I have to add, I have to check is it corresponding. Indeed, it's absolutely correct. It's correspond. So here is it. So which means now without fear or favor, this one is gonna be dark. From here till there. So assuming here there was a hole here, which means this hole it was gonna be where it, it was gonna be here. But now we are not yet complete, uh, complete. Let's complete it to this part. So how are we going to complete this part? We have to draw a line which is going to uh, uh, touch the, that arc of ours there. 
just like this. It will just touching this this a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, top part of our arc like this. Then faint it goes like that. So now, how are we gonna draw? So we have to draw a an arc which is gonna be parallel to this one, which will close like this. So we have to draw a an arc that is gonna be parallel to this one, but to, uh, uh, 20 meters away from this one. So which is that 20? We won't even stress about it. Is this one from here till there? Is that 20 millimeter? So which means. We have to do it how? How did you draw this arc? Where were you placing your compass the time you, you were drawing this arc? You were placing your compass way, yeah. Which means you have to take this corner, faint, like this, faint, like this from here till there. So now you come, you place your compass that, oh, I, uh, the time I drew this arc, like this, my compass was way, was here. So now you come to record. Now without shifting your compass, you'll be placing your compass along this line, but your pencil lead, what do you know? Is that it has to start to draw from where? From there. Do you see? So or else you come from here till there, you measure 20 millimeter, which is that one. So that you'll be getting an exact point. That exact point is going to be along this line. So let's do it then. What do I know is that my pencil lead has to start to draw right from there. So, which means I have to draw from here till there. As much as even here, you draw from the center to center. Which means even here, you have to draw from the center to center. There it goes. I stop there. Draw. Duck. So, which means now I will have to just complete yeah remember we didn't complete it yet Duck like this and then now uh, uh, we have to close so we have to draw an arc which will be parallel to this one so how did you draw this one where were you placing on compass the time you drew this one our compass was there so which means we have to do the same thing take this uh, point this direction faint Like this, and then from there, uh, uh, you come to record that okay, uh, that's where I was play, uh, uh, placing my compass the time I drew this one, like this. So now you take it without shifting your compass, you'll be placing it along this line of yours, but putting your pencil lead somewhere there. What do, uh, do you know? Is that I have to start drawing from here till there. So you have to double check very well. So which means I will draw like this from here till I touch that line of mine, which is, is that one which we draw it. Which means now it's going to be dark just like this. Then you take your, your, your hump, your what? Your 14, 14 marks, which is 14%. These examiners, guys, they are not selfish to give a student a full mark. So, it's possible. Please, this is very uh, simple. Please give it, uh, uh, give it a thumb up, uh, up there if you are interested to a video. This was Mr. Ngosi. This is our second video. So, you can download the video. You can subscribe if you want more videos. Thank you very much.